Hello, I'm Pam Demore, the Decorating Diva, and I'm here to show you how to use one of the templates from my template system. This is template number 11. Now, number 11 looks like a fairly simple template, um, but you can do some fun stuff with it. So, number 11 started out as just being the little, little um, what I call a shirt tail valance, which is similar to this one right here. And so that was my original thinking. I even put a placement line if you wanted to do banding or added a trim. I put a placement line there. Or if you wanted to cut a little shorter. Then if you want to make it for a bigger window or smaller window, you extend it or shorten it at this end. Okay? So that's template number um, 11. But then, you know, my students, my friends, they all come up with these great ideas of how to do it different. So um, this particular window trim was done by my friend Lois. And what she did was... She took this line, she cut it on a fold, and that's how she did the flower petals. So there's two sizes, so if you wanted to do bigger flower petals or smaller ones, you'd mark this on the fold and that's how you get the flower petal. And then these lines right here are to do the little pointed petals. So what you would do, again, is you'd fold the fabric, on, put the fabric on the fold, and place it on one of these lines, and that's how you would get that shape. And let me bring it over here so you can see a little better. Okay. And I'm going to pin this on my wall just to show you how this treatment would play out if you were actually making it. And you can see how lovely this goes together. It's very easy. You can make it for any size window. It doesn't take a whole lot of fabric. And you could use scraps. So it's very economical. Isn't that a lovely window treatment? And that's another way of using template number 11, which is just a fun, fun template.